Greetings, salutations. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Hey, stranger, where you been? Oh, no, there's such quips. Yeah, yeah, I'm just popping on uh, quickly, if I can remember how to upload, <laughs> to, uh, to let you know that Invmark 2025 is finally available for Inventor 2025 uh, and early. I think it goes back to 2020. I think Inventor 2020 to 2025. Uh, links in the description if you want to download that. That should work. Um, so, yeah, it's it's been a while, <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, reasons. So, uh, if you're thinking, well, what the hell's Invmark? You've got, I've got no idea. Well, about five, four or five years ago, uh, I joined uh, forces with a, a, a reseller slash developer in the Netherlands. It's, sorry about the football, yes. Oh, I'm not really sorry about the football. Oh, come on, it's, it's not coming home. But, um... There was other in inventor performance benchmarks available back then, but they were running a bit thin. They weren't really testing the workstations all that much. The hardware had outgrown the benchmarks, and I thought, I'm just going to do it myself. So I, I came up with a modeling test, drawing test, graphics tests, constraint tests, simulation test, rendering test, data translation, a whole bunch of tests. And um, it runs on your workstation, then at the end of it all, it gives, it gives you a score, a total score, also modular scores for each test and then you can choose to upload that score to a leaderboard, and then you can either compare your score against people who have a similar system to you, because tons of people, one of the reasons I made this was people will whinge a lot about their systems. They're like, oh, my, or even if it's inventor, the inventor's so slow, or oh, my PC so slow, and half the time it's not, it's just bad modeling, or it's bad data, or whatever. So I thought, you know, let's, let's create a leaderboard, and you can now compare your score that you get against people who've got the same system to you, and then you can basically, you can draw a lot of conclusions from that. Or, if you're looking for a new system, you can look at what's hot and what's not on the leaderboard, what's performing the best. And uh, it's a very good representation of what system will generally work across pretty much the entire spectrum of data sets that you could possibly uh, look to create an inventor. So, uh, they're not lightweight tests by any stretch. Uh, within reason, I can't, I can't bung in assemblies with 100,000 parts, right? You'll just never be able to download that, that, that size of a data set. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're pretty good. So, um, yeah, that's what Invmark is. Uh, and, and it's linked in the description. Leaderboard's there as well. Feel free to go check that out if you want. Um, apologies that it took so long if you've been waiting. <laughs> just just reasons. Uh, just reasons. So, uh, yeah, it's now available uh, if you want to check that out. Uh, all the... the, the uh, right, so that's that's the main point of the video. I'm just going to waffle on for a few minutes just to... Just to right, I'm catch up. It's been a while. It's nearly a year, I think, since I've uploaded. Uh, I don't know, maybe not, I don't know, whatever. Um, so, all of the surrounding environments, uh, points of contact around Infmark, like my Discord, uh, you know, the, the forums that I, that I don't really frequent all that much. Um, yeah, I'm not really all that active on those anymore. Apologies to anyone who's been maybe reaching out and I've not seen the messages. I've just kind of withdrawn quite significantly from a lot of I got to a point in my life where there was just a lot of noise coming at me from all kinds of different directions. I like six email addresses, Discord, YouTube comments, right, Facebook comments, and right, it was just so much noise coming from all different directions. And eventually, I just kind of burned myself out with creating content and sort of tackling all of this noise. So um, yeah, I just sort of withdrew quite a bit, and that's kind of where I'm at now as well. Same with content creation. I'm just I'm in I'm in a bit of a sort of mental psyche reboot in some ways i'm just taking a break it's sort of semi-retirement but i'm sort of taking a break um i lost the i lost the buzz for creating content it became something that i wasn't really enjoying anymore uh and i didn't want to just knock out content for the sake of it because it was it consumes your life it really ask any creator it consumes your life when you're not making a video you're thinking about making a video and that part was just sort of all consuming and uh, the, the like I've said in many other videos what I was getting in return wasn't really justifying the, the time I was putting into it so um, that was what I sort of called it a day so yeah I'm not discounting sort of returning but if I do I'm going to do a complete channel reboot um, different name Tech 3D it is the name I've had for the last few years uh, originally it was called TFI CAD tips which you'll see in some of the introductions of my older videos um, and I transitioned to Tech 3D because I wanted to diversify the content. I was getting pretty jaded with just doing software tutorials. It's not a good niche to be in at all. So um, I diversified it doing, well, this is where the benchmark sort of spawned from, 
uh, what, what hardware works best for professionals and stuff like that. So I, I went into, into the tech space. So tech 3D is a sort of a, a twist on that, right? Tech for the for, for 3D. Um, but I ended up getting really jaded with tech as well. Uh, I got right into it, right? I mean, I, I'm on the you know, various press lists for getting samples and stuff for, for hardware components and I uh, had contacts at Asus, MSI and, you know, Thermal Take and all, you know, I was getting hardware parts sent to me and stuff, but which you think, well, it's nice free stuff. No, it's not free stuff. You've got to work for it in return. You've got to make a video. And after a while, I just got really bored with it. I'm not going to lie. I got really, really bored with the hamster wheel of hardware. You'd get a laptop through, right? The latest laptop. And within six months, the next one's being talked about. The next one's out. And you have to sort of come up with reasons to talk about the next one. And, and it, it, there was nothing to talk about. It was really boring. I got really, really, really bored of it all um, to the point where I was just not enthusiastic about it in the slightest. And it just felt like consumerism cranked up to 15 it was just insane just pushing out new stuff for the sake of pushing out new stuff incremental improvements which is fine if you're upgrading from hardware from like 10 years ago or five years ago even but trying to come up with reasons why this thing's a great laptop i'm like i just I can't i can't do it I, and all the other channels in the sphere uh the, the the big players they've just they've elevated themselves onto a level that's just totally unattainable and unachievable by people like myself so if I get uh, like a monitor sent through that, then they want to do a video on a monitor, I can't compete with the likes of hardware and box where they've, they've got these, all these granular tests. They understand the monitors to the nth degree, color spaces, color science, gray to gray, this, that, and the other. I'm not, I, I, honestly, I don't even care about that stuff. It's just, does the monitor look good? Do I like using it? That's where my sort of enthusiasm starts and ends. Uh, and it's the same with testing laptops. You've now got YouTubers spending nearly half a million dollars on thermal chambers and... Um, those sort of, I can't remember the name, echoic or something, whatever, those chambers that are just completely, you know, isolated from any sort of sound. Um, thermal control chambers and stuff, they spend thousands, hundreds of thousands, they've got the hundreds of people on their staff, right, doing scripts, cameras, you can't compete with that. So the bar for quality has just been raised so high that your personality in a lot of cases doesn't even get the chance to shine through. It's just like the viewer watches and goes, right, does this, is this guy just waffling on an opinion or has he got actual data that like compare against these other... Ch oh, no, I'm just... I'm just... No, no. Not, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing it anymore. So if, if I come back, I'll probably will just focus on the software. Um, no plans at this point, to be honest. Like, um, I've had some conversations with some people in the last few months, which has it's kick-started a little bit of motivation, a little bit of enthusiasm, but... I'm not quite ready yet to come back and, and do it. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. But if I do come back, it's going to be a channel reboot, probably a rename. And um, so almost start again, really, uh, from that side of things, just clean slate and start again. Same channel, just just rebranded, obviously. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, in, in the meantime, in the last year, I mean, I've been active. I'm still working in the Autodesk sphere. I'm still, that's my job. My job is a Vault consultant. I'm still working entirely with Autodesk Vault stuff. Um, just with a couple of clients, that's pretty much it. But um, I'm still involved with with that stuff. I'm just not making content on it anymore uh, for the for the time being. And I've just been channeling my creative flows into other into other festivities, as you can maybe see in the background. I've been sort of getting involved with various other things and using those as a creative outlet. So um, yeah, I'm. That, that's where I'm at. I, I'll probably do it for now. So yeah, if you if you're interested in Invmark, it's on the website down below. And um, yeah, thanks again if you've watched this all the way through. Much appreciated. And um, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna definitely be back. I've I, like I've said throughout the last couple of years, I was humming and hawing about what I'm doing. I've ploughed far too much of my life into this channel, nearly a quarter of my life, for me to just sort of throw the towel in completely. Uh, I've always also said that the channel end was, I mean, look at 10 years of content creation to not, I'm not even at a hundred thousand yet, right? That's really quite small in the grand scheme of things, but it's quite large within the niche we're in. Uh, but it's, it just doesn't give you the, the, the rewards that you would otherwise have got if, you know, if you were in another niche or in another area, but you know, I'm not going to throw all that away. I'm going to, I will come back. I'll kickstart it again. I just need, I, I just need sort of a, some kind of compelling event to happen that'll kick me into it so um yeah that's that's pretty much it thanks again for stopping by in mark in the description below my name is neil cross this is tech 3d for now and i'll see i'll see you when i see you i don't know but i will toodles